Hello, I'm Rupert Vandervel and welcome to the channel. In a recent video, looking at what I consider to be some of the best images and photographers of the 21st century, I selected 10 images that I felt represented some of the categories that are significant areas in street photography and ones that most people would be familiar with. I included this image from Australian photographer Jesse Marlowe, which I decided should represent the creativity category. I put myself in the photographer's position here and imagine seeing this scene unfold and the great picture potential behind it. As I pointed out, this type of action is usually all over very quickly. And even if you have spotted it, you have to be at your level best to record it, as Jesse Marlowe has. You first have to see the possibilities, and then you have to figure out how to take advantage of them. Essentially, what he has done here is created something special out of a mundane scene through some creative thinking. He has spotted the unfolding action, seen the picture potential, and through his point of view, exposure and framing, delivered a super street picture. This resonates with me because this is the method I try to adopt when out shooting. Street photographers should always be fully aware of the activity around them and be ready to respond at a moment's notice. Let's take a look at some examples where a little extra time and consideration of a scene has made a significant difference to the final image. This image was part of a project about the city and the repetitiveness of the working day and was taken in the heart of the financial district in the City of London. Although I wanted to focus on a single figure, it felt too isolated on its own and the scene lacked depth. There were many people passing in front of me, so I decided to try and include one of them as part of the scene. After many attempts I caught this chap and liked how he was sort of a close-up double of the guy on the other side of the road. I used a similar technique in this shot. The scene, without the passing cyclist, again lacked a final touch and needed something to fill the left-hand area. I remember trying a silhouetted walking figure at first, but they didn't appear tall enough. I waited patiently for a cyclist who performed the role admirably. Using foreground elements like this can do wonders for adding depth and more interest to a scene. The inclusion of the pigeon in Matt Stewart's shot is genius as the frenetic pace of our everyday world is echoed by that of the bird world. We all headed somewhere, often in a hurry and with much to do. Adopting this point of view has accentuated that, and by including the pigeon, he has brought a bit of humour to the scene in a very creative way. I think these images once again demonstrate the need for patience when shooting the streets. A lot of things can happen in a short space of time, but you may have to be prepared to wait a much longer time for the right shot. Martin Kohler has done this to perfection in the shot taken in Romania in 2001 and this picture comes from his Nothing Special series. Of course, the man with his head down the hole is the perfect starting point for a picture, but I think if you take the chicken out of the shot, it would have far less impact. I can imagine him waiting in the hope that the chicken wanders into the right position to complete the picture before the man pulls his head out. Using extras like this shows how a bit of creativity can go a long way. Look for less obvious ways to capture your subjects. Often, our first inclination is to photograph something just as the eye sees it. Stand, position the camera, frame and shoot. But spending a bit of time thinking about another way to shoot your scene will often lead to a more creative approach. It might not necessarily mean employing a complete change to your position. Even a subtle shift can bring about a dramatic change in a scene. Take Gustavo Minas' approach to capturing this scene. It's a nice play on the theme of anonymity. The face covering being worn by the barber is paired with the reflection of the neon light masking the eyes of the man whose hair he is cutting. This is a photographer thinking on his feet and finding that extra something to finish the picture. It's such a subtle trick, but it makes the image all that more sophisticated. Siegfried Hansen is one of the most creative street photographers out there and he routinely uses clever visual tricks to turn ordinary street scenes into something quite the opposite. This is a good example of how he finds commonplace and random objects and combines them skillfully with the landscape to produce pictures that have a curious or surreal feel to them. I love images that flow like this, where it almost seems that everything in the urban landscape is somehow connected. 
In a similar way, Niels Jorgensen has recognised the potential of something as mundane as the handles of a plastic bag sticking out of a bin to make a picture that has his creativity stamped all over it. Who knows if the white legs were walking by as he passed or whether he had to wait for the right combination. He saw how he could transform an ordinary street scene and very nicely pulled it out of the bag. Discovering new ways to showcase everyday aspects of street life is where our creativity really needs to get to work. Don't be too quick to accept what you have initially done. If you think you found the best way of capturing something, think again and see if you can find an even better one. I love this idea from Ed Peters, who was photographing a street performer moving pieces of glass around. Instead of focusing on the performer themselves, he has chosen to use their shadow to create more of a graphic look. The vibrant colours have been given even more emphasis by doing this, and the hatted figure's shape is a nice contrast. I often find myself musing about photography when I'm not actively doing it. Creative thinking doesn't have to be confined to when you're out on the street shooting. Pre-planning an idea beforehand will help you to focus your attention on what you want to achieve when you step out there. Trent Park has done this with this image taken in Sydney. He wanted to experiment with the city and show its shadow and light in new ways. The idea came to him to photograph a figure completely bleached out by the harsh light in order to change the emotional feel of a picture. If you have a particular look that you're after, then you should try pulling out all the stops to achieve it. In the shot taken in the train station as people waited to board, the light was picking out various elements of the crowd but nothing of any recognisable interest to me. I wanted someone with a noticeable characteristic to turn up, and when I saw the chap in the hat, I thought that it could be him. Like with the earlier Martin Kohler picture and the chicken rolling into place, I hoped I would get lucky with the hat. Stopping down by a full stop and exposing for the highlighted hat gave me the shot I wanted. Learning to think more creatively about your subjects and by pushing yourself to come up with new ways to give your pictures that extra oomph is a surefire way to improve your street photography. Don't be afraid to experiment and to try things that might seem a bit alien to you. You will be surprised at how much you discover about yourself creatively and how much further your street photography can go. Thanks for watching. Check out my book Fine Art Street Photography. In it you'll find a ton of tips and tricks on how to turn the urban environment into dramatic street pictures. You can find the link to it in the description to the video below. Please subscribe and do check out my other videos on the channel. See you next time.